हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एम एम आर टॉपिक दैट इज एक्सप्लेन द टर्म कपलिंग कांस्टेंट दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क फॉर टू टू थ्री मार्क्स सो कपलिंग कांस्टेंट्स इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पीक इन द मल्टीप्लेट सो दिस इज अ ट्रिपलेट वी कैन कंसिडर इट एज अ मल्टीप्लेट सो द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पीक इन अ मल्टीप्लेट सो दिस डिस्टेंस इज कपलिंग कॉन्स्टेंट this distance is always constant so that's why it also known as a coupling constant and it is independent on the external magnetic field so if you used any machine with the different different magnetic fields it will always remain constant and the value of this coupling constant that is j is lies between 0 to 20 hertz so these values are very useful in terms of solving the problems for example the coupling constant for cis and trans alkene in terms of an alkene this is an alkene so ha and sc these two are cis to each other and its value is given as a 10 hertz now the hb and sc are trans to each other we can also say those are vicinal and their value is 16 hertz so if any proton is given with the 16 hertz value in the problem you can easily see there is a trans protons are present or alkene system is present and ha and hb are present on the same carbon we can say those are geminal and its value is 1 hertz this coupling constant is also exist in the benzene ring if the protons are present ortho to each other its value is 8 hertz if meta its value is 2 hertz and if they are para the protons are long enough so that's why they are not going to couple this value are easy to distinguish the protons present on the benzene ring so this coupling constant is very important for solving the problem also this alkene it's having this different different proton so there is a one new phenomenon that is enoe nuclear overhauser effect is very important we'll see that in the next video